So this burner um, had been giving me problems. The uh, only a portion of the holes were actually lighting. Um, I tried adjusting the air intake, which is adjusted through this screw here. Um, and basically, you have the burner here. This is where the gas nozzle goes in. And then this post has this that goes inside, it screws all the way down, and then at the bottom you have a plate, two nuts, which then go over the bolt, um, one on either side, and you can use two wrenches to effectively tighten it in on itself so that this remains solid and by then raising and lowering the screw in the hole you will effectively lower and raise and lower this disc over this so this is the air intake lifting the bolt all the way will close the feed the air the air intake if you will opening it all the way gives it a bit more air and the problem i was having was that i was either getting a really yellow flame or the gas was too high, or the actual lights weren't, uh, the actual holes weren't lighting, all sorts of problems I was having. Um, I took the nozzle off of one of the the gas um, gas tips, you can see over here, I've got one here, it's the nipple on the end of the, the gas line, and it's got a very small hole at the end um, that then has a, it basically conceals the, um, the gas line. And I had taken that off, uh, just in case it was gunked up, but that wasn't the problem. So I started fiddling with screws. Anyway, to demonstrate what I've got, um, I've disconnected the, the pilot. This is the pilot line. Um, I'll explain a bit more about that in a moment. Um, but I'm just showing you how it was as I was testing it. So here we go. Alright, so at the moment we have a very high flame. We have one of the holes back here that's not lighting. Well now it is. Um, but also important to note is that the hole at the edge of this burner is also lit and that's where the pilot would sit and this was concerning me at first oh we see it a bit better from here it was concerning me at first the fact that the um there was a flame coming out of there and if i lower the gas you can see everything reduces nicely and again, if I raise the gas, it has quite a high flame. Um, I was also concerned about the flecks of orange, but upon more reading, probably need to adjust this a bit more right now, but inter intermittent flecks of, white, uh, of orange aren't such a bad thing. It's when you have a constant orange on the flame that that indicates that it's an incomplete combustion and you are at risk for carbon monoxide gases to be let off. Um, I'm just trying to position this tripod without melting the camera here. Okay, hopefully that will give you a good view. All right, so what I'm doing now is putting a screwdriver into the air intake, turning it anti-clockwise now, which raises the post, which decreases the amount of air coming in. There's very little air coming in. And then we have a very yellow flame, and that's fully closed. There's no air coming into this, no oxygen. Now turning it the other way, turning it clockwise, now the 
flames are lowering. The yellowing is getting less. You want to give it a little bit of time as you're turning it because um, any air that's coming into the burner needs to sort of settle after you change it. So give it a moment for the air to, to regulate. I do have a window open, so that might be why some of the flames are flickering a bit more than you might expect. Now, notice the the flame that was on top of the pilot light. If I turn it back. So there we had a steady flame. And as I'm turning and opening the oxygen, that's going to drop. And you'll hear it start making a noise as it begins to fully extinguish. Is it going to call me a liar? Okay, I've got the oxygen nearly open all the way. And you can see how I've lost flames. And I don't know whether you can hear the, um, the air rushing noise, if you will. Kind of like if you were blowing. Now, if I were actually to blow on this... See, they all light for a moment, and then they go out again. And this is the problem I was having. So if I turn it anti-clockwise then, which is closing the air intake, that sound of the rushing wind starts to go. We've got our flame back above the pilot and I'm getting more fire from more of the holes. Now what was concerning me in there I've got a full a full flame. Now these cones are far 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 too high. Um, you don't want, I mean I've got flame tips up here, you don't want that. They should really be shorter like that. Oops not quite that much. Like that and what I've had to do is physically turn down the gas on the front of the stove um, now I was still concerned because I was still getting a flame out of here um, and then it dawned on me that hey maybe some of that's because actually because I don't have the pilot light attached now this pilot will I mean, it has a solid tip and this tip goes into the hole that's down there. Let's move over so you can see. Let's see, it slots into there. Um, so it's got a solid tip, but some gas can still escape to the point that when you go to then turn on the gas to this burner, the chamber fills up with gas. Gas flows through. Pilot lights lit. Gas in the chamber uh, in the uh, cylinder here ignites, and you've got your fire on the burner. So when I did that still pilot lights off but just with this in place when I then lit it after making adjustments there we go got four burners again the flames too tall and I need to think a little bit about how to adjust so that it's a permanent lower supply of gas coming in but the point being Got some nice flame there. Okay, the white stuff is the, um, I guess it's liquid Teflon. Um, so this is the nipple. And then down here, let's see if I can zoom in on this. This is the the line, the gas feed, effectively, um, and it's got. I don't know if you'll be able to see very well. There's a hole in the centre the gas comes out of, and then this tip fits into this fitting. So if it's on too tight, 
that tip is going to completely block the hole and no gas is going to get out. If it's on too loose, well, you're going to have full flow. And I'm suspicious. Sorry, just trying to set the tripod up here. I'm suspicious that some of the reason that I have such a high flame might be because this one here is too loose. Okay, I've reduced the gas flow now. It's been on for maybe 10 seconds. Um, still not all of the holes have lit. So I'm now wondering if maybe I need to adjust the screw or adjust the air intake at all. Just to show the two extremes. This is turning it. Okay, there we have it nearly open all the way. It's a very wide, wide flame. I'm trying to focus it a bit now. To so get more of a cone effect. And then on the other extreme, by closing the, um, this is closed all the way. Just giving it a moment to see where it settles. Still some yellow in there. That gives you an idea of tuning, fine tuning the burner.